Guys, my name is Paul Gordon, and I'm just here to talk to you about a few things that I'd like to see Arapahoe High School improve on. Um, the first thing is uh, student participation in the various events we have around the school. Um, it's really sad to me to see, uh, especially as I look at um, some other schools and how much they like value each and every student event. Not that any school is perfect, but uh, it's, it's definitely a cool thing to see. For example, um, I know Highlands Ranch High School, they love their winter formal. It's like homecoming in the winter. And I'd really love to see that kind of uh, act student activity at Arapahoe High School. And especially since the, the Toms and the Cheers put in so much work to help uh, with that dance and put put it on completely themselves. Um, and, and I'd just really love to see that uh, be, be a bigger thing than it already is. Um, and also, uh, I feel like the participation in you know, going and watching sporting events that Arapahoe High School puts on, besides football, of course, uh, football's always drawn huge crowds. Um, very, we're very proud of our football team, but the, you know, basketball games and, and the wrestling meets and all those kinds of sports, especially the individual sports like swimming, uh, wrestling, cross country are the big three that come to mind. Uh, track and field as well, although track and field's a little more, uh, more attractive to go to. Um, there's there's a severe lack in audience for for the for the players and uh, participants in the sport. The second thing I wanted to talk about was the uh, openness of conversation. I feel like is some is somewhat non-existent in Arapahoe High School's hallways and uh, things like drug abuse, um, teen sexual activity, mental health. None of that should be taboo at all. Um, and I understand these conversations are always going to be awkward and kind of weird to have, especially if it's with an adult. But there shouldn't be anything stopping you um, from talking to your health teacher about having safe sex or understanding consent. If you have questions about any of those things, you shouldn't be scared to talk to them about it. If you feel like you're struggling with any sort of mental health issue, you should never, ever be nervous to go talk to your counselor about it. Um, a few back, I was having some problems with, uh, with just uh, bad experiences from my past come back and give me nervous and anxious feelings right now. And, and I went to talk to my counselor about it, and, and she she helped me so much. Uh, Mc, Miss McNiff, unfortunately, she isn't here anymore, but um, Miss McNiff helped me incredibly with, with my issues. And I feel like every student should feel the same way that they can go and talk to their mental health counselor about it, um, no matter how personal your issues are. These issues into consideration for a little bit. I decided um, that I'm going to run for student body president. Um, now, I understand that there are a lot of uh, opinions out there that aren't mine, so I made a Google survey. You can just fill out, uh, Google form, sorry. You can just fill out, uh, it's gonna be right up here somewhere on the screen. Um, just scan the QR code and it'll take you right over there. Um, I'm gonna be running on a campaign platform of your voice, your vote. And, and your opinions, I, I couldn't do it without them. Uh, I'm only, again, I'm only one out of hundreds of students at Arapahoe High School, um, o over a thousand. And, and I'd love to hear um, every one of your guys' opinions on, on how Arapahoe High School should run and do my best to represent them. I don't know who I will be running against, uh, whoever that is. Best of luck to you. There's uh, going to be a good race ahead. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for some more updates on this channel.